I'm sure you're very familiar with this standardized signature block area of all of your outgoing emails, but you may have forgotten exactly where it is stored. And you want to go up here to the ribbon and click Insert, and right here, Kitty Cornered, is the signature area. And when you click on that, you'll find your standardized signature block. But you'll, as you'll see in mine, I have a lot of signatures, and they're not these types of signatures over here. They're actual emails or to-do list lists that I use elsewhere. So I want to show you how to build some of these, especially those with attachments and hyperlinks. And the easiest place to build these, believe it or not, is using this notes section of a new contact. So we're going to ignore this, all these fields over here. We're simply going to use this over here. And the example that I want to use here today is I'm going to create a new signature that is an outgoing email to people who need to sign a video release form. And so I've got it already pre-written. And so you can see it that I'm, I've got a space here to put their name in. I want to show you how to create a hyperlink. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to right click, go to link. And this is where I can get my email address, either copy and paste it or type it in. And then at the end of this, I want to use my typical normal signature block. So we're going to go up here to insert signature, and I'm going to insert the organized Audrey signature block, maybe clean it up by um, doing some backspacing here. And then with this email, there's going to be an attached video release form that they need to sign. And so I need to insert that somewhere in here, and I can do this anywhere. So I'm going to go up here and click insert and then find that document. Here's the video release form. That looks kind of funny the way it's sitting there, but don't worry. It's all going to work out just fine. Okay. Now the next step is we're going to highlight all of this. We're going to hit control C to copy it. And then we're going to go up here to signature and click on that down arrow and go all the way to the bottom for all of our signatures in which we can say we want a new signature. We're going to name it video release email, press OK. And now we have a blank slate here in which we're going to put our cursor and say control V. It's going to paste everything in there and you will see that that attachment is still there, still looking a little weird. That's OK. Just hang in there with me and then we're going to press OK. Now I'm going to take you to a new email and we're going to go up here to insert signature and we're going to scroll down to video release email and voila, there's the email complete with hyperlink and attachment. And so think about the emails that you send the same information over and over and how quickly you can build in a signature block in order to, to do that and use it as a, as a shortcut.